Hello everyone, this is Kangar. Welcome back to Really? <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Kangar. Welcome back to Skyrim VR Mods. Today I am going to show you a new update of my brain computer interface mod. You will see a few new features of both the gameplay and the BCI part. Alright, so here you can see the first new feature and that is this brain bar. That is technically a feature of Spell Wheel VR, but Shizov has made this uh, specifically for Real Virtual Magic and it's compatible now with the latest version and this shows the actual brain meter in action and you can see while I'm talking with you I'm slowly losing my focus and the meter will pick this up. If you want to use the spell wheel VR bars exactly as I have them on my right wrist on top then you should use these values on the uh, right wrist top and then this offset and the angle and also the bar view angle like this. Um, so th these are the values that work well for me. You might want to have different ones and so on, but this is just what I suggest. And now you can already see the second feature and that is the magica bar right there, right? This is no longer uh, the actual brain power. So this used to be the way, the way in uh, version, uh, in early versions. And now in the new version, this is just a normal Magicka that you have. So this is not changed anymore. This is a hundred Magicka because I'm a brand new character here right there. Um, and now the brain power will actually affect the Magicka regeneration. So this means if you lose focus, you actually lose Magicka, but only as part of a regeneration. And then if you gain focus again, your Magicka will slowly fill up again. And as I said, this actually, this is still my regular Magicka. So the only thing that really changes now um, from the mod is the regeneration. And in addition to that, it also changes the spell power, not only of the damage, but now also for all other magic powers like uh, restoration, conjuration and so on. So this is this uh, was not the case earlier, but now whatever you do with magic will be influenced uh, and uh, it will be either uh, reduced or increased in power depending on this exact bar. And then I have one new feature that I cannot really show you because the, the mod is now compatible also with regular Bluetooth. So you do no longer need a Bluetooth BLED 112 dongle. You can use any Bluetooth. You can use built-in Bluetooth of your PC or uh, a regular Bluetooth dongle or whatever. Um, I should note that the Bluetooth of the Muse is really weak. So you should try to have it as close to your head as possible. However you want to establish the connection, it should be really close to your head, either with a USB extension cord or the way I have it, um, the, I have the Bluetooth dongle plugged into my Valve Index. Um, this may or may not work for you. I have one report of a person where this was maybe overheating or something and then didn't function anymore. But whatever you do, um, you should have the Bluetooth connection as close to the Muse or to your head as possible as otherwise the connection might be unstable and then the game might crash or your PC might burn or something. I don't know. Uh, the latter is probably... Okay, that was not intended. <laughs> I wanted to say that the latter is probably not the case, but maybe the game has a different opinion. Anyways, uh, the last thing I want to show you is this. So this is the ini file of the mod. And here you can see I added uh, parameters for the BCI processing. So this is the history length that is in steps of 1.2 seconds. That just means how fast your current like instantaneous brain power affects your in-game brain power and this means that I have a moving average of 30 seconds and all the values 
don't count as much as newer values. And you can play around with that. That just means like it's, it's changing more immediate with what happens. And then you have the brain offset. Um, this is a value um, that is just added to your brain power. Um, it should be in the range of um, plus minus 0 0.5 or something, I would say. It depends a lot on your actual brain and on your skull and a lot of other uh, um, things. So essentially, if this value is larger, it's easier to get the full brain power. Um, and it just it just increases your overall brain power. And then here we have the brain scale. So this is just um, this just shrinks or or increases the range your 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 the brain power from the device is getting. So if you have this very large, then it's very easy to reach the maximum and the minimum. But um, but you might be just flipping between super uh, powerful and uh, super non-powerful. And if you have this very, very small, then not much is happening. So these are the values that work for me personally. But you might have different values and it's totally fine to change that and play around with that. Um, yeah. And here uh, I have values for adjusting the minimum and maximum magicka regeneration and also the minimum and maximum uh, spell power. So this is in percentage both. Um, so minus 3% of your max magicka per second or plus 7 of your max magicka per, per second um, when full power, full brain power, when no brain power. Minus 100% uh, of your spell power, so no spell damage or no healing when you're super non-focused and double damage when you're super focused. This is obviously subject, subject to change and this also depends on uh, what you want. Um, I'm just using these values here as a, as a default at, at this point. All right, so that was the update for today. Um, I really want to thank everyone who's watching my videos, who shares them, who likes them and who joins the Discord. It's so great for me to have this community to see how excited you all are about what i am excited about this is fantastic for me to experience and i just hope that i can live up to the excitement i generated with you and as you can see i am actively developing the mod there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes come to the discord if you want to stay in the loop and it's really great to know there are already people playing with this mod. So I have five testers or something like that um, at the moment who already have the Muse device at home and who already played the mod and it worked for them. And I'm uh, giving, getting a lot of feedback there about what would be nice to have and, uh, and how things do not work and so on and trying to adjust for everything. So yeah, just Thank you everyone for making this possible as part of a community. Yeah, I hope to see you in the next video and, uh, and uh, on the Discord and everything and yeah, bye.